Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition. And oh my goodness, what the heck is going on over here? What's happening? I've never seen something like this. Okay, well this is the Penguin Empire and we were coming to visit them. I have never seen this. We were coming to visit the Penguin Empire because they were under attack. And even though we've never met with them before, they asked for our help and they were being invaded by some other empire that's apparently nearby. I have never seen, is their ship just like crashing? Are they burrowers? Do they dig into the ground? I don't know what's going on here, but it is um, kind of interesting. So good luck to you little penguin guys. Let's see what they're all about. Ah, my friend. Oh my gosh, they're so like cute and weird at the same time. They're like a penguin sock puppet. Ah, my friend, I was wondering where that devilishly handsome galactic hero had gone off to. Have you lost weight? Are you working out? You look fabulous. Supple. You should come by more often. The wobble wooses make a great stir fry. We'll have you over sometime. Interesting. So is there like a creature on their planet that that's the name after? Because they know how to speak to us. We're into everything you can make into like a uh, barbecue. That's what the, the like, uh, that's what our Leopold do. They're the opposite of our little finna. Anyway, I think we can buy some repair units from them. Why not? Then we might get a move on and kind of go see. I might as well grab some energy packs while we're here. It's always helpful to have tons of those. So these guys seem to be more about bio stabilizers, colony and credit packs. I can pick those up cheap. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We'll make them happy with lots of trading. No idea what's happening here. Apparently it's digging penguins, but I do know a huge request from everybody, including myself, is that we find our way back to our home system. As you know, we were sitting foot, we were putting our paws down in a new region of the galaxy, and our home is all the way over here. And we lost track of which wormhole we needed to go through in order to find home, and as a result, we haven't been able to save planets from eco-disasters, and it is distressing everyone. So we're actually going to try to figure out which wormhole is the way home today. And I also want to make a new space cat because we need more space cats in our cat, like our space cattery. So we're going to go try to make some new space cats. We'll be back. Hmm. Oh, I have no room to collect spice. What? That's not good. Do I have, I don't have anything I can sell. What do I have on me that's taking up all this room? So many little like pieces of, uh, so many different creatures. Hmm, I do like that diamond egg carnivore we managed to snag. All right, let's see if I can drop off one or two items. Do I just need to do... Okay, never mind. This planet is like more or less stable. Yeah, let's just see if we can find the wormhole that will actually take us home. And then once we get there, then we can come back and continue working. But I need to figure out which one of the wormholes around here it was that we get to that side of the galaxy on. All right, what's this? Oh, actually, this is a really good planetary system. I need to kind of settle on one of these guys. Let's settle down on this little moon. Oh, it's a cute little moon, but we need to claim it while we're here because it's a pretty good one. All right, and it just needs like a bush. I've got bushes. There you go. It's a little citrus bush thing too, so we can have like delicious citrus. And then I can put down the land whale. This is the perfect planet for the land whale. And then we can also put down the elegant pipette in just a second. What else can I stick down here? The hiding away. There we go. So the little hiding away and we'll put down the elegant pipette and I'll have to come back for them later. Oh, he just, he's going for him. He's going to eat the land, Will. He's going to eat him. But let's put down a colony somewhere nearby. Uh, let's see, maybe over here. Can I? Yeah, right there. And we'll smack a colony down here and claim this area. This is a really cool spot next to this gas giant. I like that effect. That is pretty darn cool. So you guys have a great view and you have a small, you have a small little terror system set up. So I'll get you set up really quickly. What do we want them to have here? Well, why not like a little desert globe or, well, they're kind of on like a, a beach sort of planet, aren't they? Like a mm, ocean planet. So is there anything that might be really good for being on an ocean planet? That's kind of cool looking. So many things. Bubble adobe. Let's just do like a bubble adobe because they're kind of on like an ocean planet. And then what for entertainment? Uh, weird hut, uh, frog pond, the stealing park. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything? Desert solitude. I kind of like this. So we're just going to pick some random things to give them. 
as their homes here. And it's kind of fun to pick these because it's like, oh, you could make that into their cultures. So if this is the factory, what would we want for the factory? Operation Desert Blade. Um, Abandoned saucers, that cool mushroom thing. Uh, maybe bubble press. They, they, how about they're like a maker of fine bubbles? Uh, you, know, you know, like blowing bubbles. That seems like something they could do. Uh, they're war blowing bubbles though, because the Leopoldi are an aggressive race. So what do I mean by like war blowing bubbles? Well, like maybe they're they're bubbles of war. So <laughs> you blow them and then they like blow up or something like that. So who knows? We'll have to just figure out how the Leopoldi swing that. But there we go. All right, can you guys fit any more? Nope. All right, you guys take care now. Keep this whole system claimed. Don't lose don't lose our little foothold here, because this is a good place with lots of green spice and blue spice, and that's a that's a pretty attractive system. Alright, and that managed to clear up some of our storage room. Alright, so we can maybe pick up some spices while we're out and about. So here they are. So let's see if I can manage to wiggle our way over. We need these wormholes. So these are the three wormholes. And we need to pop back through them and figure out which one of the, what what's going on over here? What? Oh my gosh! The Noodles Empire is attacking the war. Oh no! That's terrible. They're really they're really adorable. But we don't have time. We don't have to. Mm. Oh, okay, fine, little penguin guys. I'm coming back to fight your battle for you really quickly because I'm a very good fighter, and this will only take a couple seconds, hopefully. And then we're going to go back because I finally figured out where the wormholes were. And if we can rename the wormholes, I totally am going to so that we can find our way back and forth a little bit easier. Are you guys still fighting? Is that a thing? Oh, I guess they're still fighting. Alrighty then, where's my little shield? Alright, got my little proton laser. Oh, look at them! The Noodles Empire look like the Futurama shifts! <laughs> I love that! That's still so cool! Alright, out of here, Noodles Empire! I'm not trying to have a beef with you, but, you know, these cute little guys want my help. It's so lovely to see you again! It's a true delight for all Wolvoruses to deal with someone of your poison station. You honor us with your presence and those steely good looks. That's right, I'm comfortable enough with myself to say it. See, they're just adorable. I like them. Alright, there you go, guys. You be good. Sorry that you keep getting attacked by, like, Futurama noodles. Alright, we'll have to go check out what the Noodle Empire is all about at some point in the future, too. But I need to find my way home. Ecosystems collapsing left and right. Noodles aren't very happy with me. Well, they're gonna- Ah, what's this? Who are you? Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode, says the Eliminator Empire. Now that seems like a worthy foe. Ha ha! They look like somebody we could have a lot of fun tangoing with. So hey, are we at war? Are you gonna pick a fight with me? Don't pick a fight with me. They're kind of keeping an eye on me, but they're not picking a fight with me just yet. They're way too close to my little like outstations for me to be comfortable though. So let's come down and see if we can collect up some spice really quickly. Just a teensy bit. And then let's get out of here. Cause I do want to figure out which one of these is gonna take me home. Is it gonna be this one? That's really kind of close to our home planet? So let's check that out. Alright, we're gonna come down here, see if we can snag what the your T0? You aren't even producing any spice. Never mind. We'll have to work on spice in the future. All right, let's see if this is the way home or if I'm about to get horribly lost. If this is the way home, we will try to rename it. Oh gosh, look at that, Sightseer 2 badge, sweet. All right, well, I'm glad we're earning some badges for this. I miss all of my little dragon friends. We have no allies to go on these big adventures with. All right, are we home? Are we home? Whoa, this guy has a different name too. So the wormholes have different names. Oh boy, this doesn't, uh, 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 nope. <laughs> All right, let's go right back in, you guys. This one is not the way home. Let's hope it pops us out in the right place. Oh, go, 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 go. Man, I wonder if there's going to be wormholes in No Man's Sky. That's going to be fun to find out. All right, let's pop back out. All right, so this is not home. Not home, noted. Here's the wimpy lotus our little wimpy lotus colony that we keep over here where we put all of our our pacifists huh. as though we want you guys in the family all right congratulations wimpy lotus grow and prosper i'm not going to sell you that for that cheap that's what that's what like uh, the twins of peace the wimpy lotus we just don't have pacifists in this family 
All right, ecosystem collapse. I know, we're having all this ecosystem collapse. All right, let's see if this is the way home. And if it is, we will name it, I guess, the path to the Lotus or something like that. I would know what it refers to then. All right, are we home? Oh boy, oh man, let me free. Okay, is this familiar? <gasps> it's familiar territory! Oh my goodness, this is it, this is it. Okay, can I rename this like star or rename the system? Rename star, is this how we do it? Rename star, uh, path to Lotus. So unvalid, okay, what about rename system? Let's try system. Path to Lotus. Oh no, rename system. Oops, system. Uh, path to Lotus, maybe? Rename planet? Oh, maybe it's like rename uh, planet path to Lotus. Ah, oh, you cannot rename these. All right. Well, we figure that out. So the yip, yip. We just have to remember that's what it is. All right, let's see. Where are we having all of this ecosystem collapse and drama that I keep being told about? Um, Leopoli Empire. Yeah, where is it though? Oh, is it over here? Or over there? Is it over here? Okay, let's get a move on. We're gonna see if we can rescue it. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've been back over in this corner of the galaxy. Or this corner of the, the ah. Yep, all right, let's dive in and we'll fix this. Oh geez, this is one of our good planets too. It's been so long since we've been here. It's so surreal to be back over on this side. We'll have to stop over at the space cattery because I do want to do some work in the space cattery. All right. So it's been having ecosystem collapse because somebody has a disease in here. Hey, you guys. Wow, they're really weird looking. <laughs> it's been so long since we've been here. We'll have to see what's going on. And I want to make a strawberry space cat. That's another one of my big goals here. All right, hey, are you guys, did that fix it? I don't think that fixed it. Save planet from eco disaster. So what does that involve? Like exterminating things? Okay, maybe it involves coming down and being like, there's some grass. Is that, does that help? Okay, and then what about uh, putting down a hideaway? Oh, look at those little guys, they're really cute. Oh, they vanished, okay. What about a deer cat? And then I need a swamp cat for a carnivore. Oh, I think we stabilized it. That's all I needed. There we go. And we completed the ecosystem. Dropping creatures from a high altitude will kill them, so don't do that. And then do we need to put down... I don't want to put down my citrus plants. I don't want to lose my plants. Come on. Are they going to save? Yeah, there we go. All right. And then this guy. There we go. See, we're restoring this ecosystem. We came all the way from the other side of the galaxy, more or less, to do this. So hopefully we can balance it. And do we have any more herbivores? Um, I don't think we do. Any more carnivores or omnivores? Not that we can add in here, I don't think. What deforestation? Why? Why? How is this? How is it still having cure the infected? Okay, I've got to like... Are we just like having an eco disaster no matter what? You know what? We're going to bring out the big guns, you guys. Where's my big guns? Um, there should be something we can put down that'll actually prevent. There we go. Bio stabilizers. Reduce the likelihood of an eco disaster. Wow, that's cool looking. Is it still not working? Now we have like eight minutes. <laughs> So that's how it reduces the likelihood. I didn't know that. It just like decreases it. Well, is my, is my, did I accidentally turn my, no, my radar is still on. Have we just come too late? A plant species has become extinct. Have we just come too late? Who knows? <laughs> I think this species, like this whole planet is just doomed. That was, this is my favorite citrus plant and I don't want to lose it. All right. We stabilize the terror score. So how do we save it from an eco disaster? Maybe I just need to come back. Maybe we'll come back. We'll, we'll just cross our fingers that everything's okay and we'll come back and we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's gonna be okay. Ah, hostile alien planets. Ah, hostile alien fleets of ships. Oh gosh, all right. Well, it's to that point again where there's never going to be a good time to be able to protect everything all at once. All right, let's come over here. And to be able to make sure that our entire empire is well defended, at least at 
the current rate that we've got everything going, but we'll do our best. And I do want to try to make some strawberry space cats before the end of the day. That's a huge goal I have. Oh, sweet. I guess they already like ran off. So we got here and they're like, oh no, it's the famous captain and the pirates headed out. Sweet. Yep, that was a little flash that they give you right as they leave the solar system, or right as they leave the atmosphere. Not the solar system. All right, so do I have treasure on this planet somewhere? Let's go see if we can pick it up. That might be what they're coming for. Why is my radar not working? I feel like my radar is glitched out. Come on, radar, you can do it. Wow, look how pretty this place is. This almost looks like a Leo Blue planet. Oh my gosh. Somebody just like delivered this at the front door. That's hilarious. All right, what is it? It is a sea of green. So let's go ahead and use it on this planet. Um, even though, well, it's so pretty here, but tradition demands that anytime we get one of these. Wow, it really didn't change that much. That's pretty nice though. Cool. Anytime we get one of the uh, little like planet coloring tools or planet sculpting tools, we use it on the planet that we discovered it on. All right, don't know what's gonna happen with that eco disaster, but it's it's happening. So let's go ahead and pop over to our little galactic space shop, which should be right over here, the Pet Shop Hop, where we keep all sorts of the special animals that we've collected from everywhere through the universe. And we're gonna pop over to Boopa, which is where I've been keeping some of my favorites that aren't cat related, because I wanna put the diamond eggs we got over here, you guys. Very cool diamond eggs. Let's come down and start working on raising the atmosphere a little bit. Who is over here? I don't remember who all we have put on this planet because it's been so long since we've been here. And we really are going to be spending some time probably pretty soon in the next week or so. Ah, ah. No, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. They're just going to have to deal with it, you guys, because that's just the way things go here. All right, let's do this. Hot cloud cedar and then the heat ray. Ah, much better. But yeah, so it's gotten, it's gotten to the point where we are just going to have to pursue our own goals. We're going to get alerts all of the time about different planets being raided and this planet or that planet needs help. But that just happens as you start exploring more of space. So we're going to focus on our own goals. And right now I want to get our little planet Bupa, which is where we are keeping a whole bunch of the cool aliens that we run into when we're out and about exploring the like all of the different solar systems. This is a really cool tree. I like that tree. But we're going to get Boopa, and let's go ahead and get this plant. And what's the coolest this way? Ooh, this guy looks like a little bonsai tree. That's cute. But we're going to go ahead and get this planet up and going because we found some really cool things on the other side of the galaxy. Let's see. There's a diamond egg. There we are. So there's the little diamond egg, and here's the hiding away. I kind of like the hiding away. The deer cat and the swamp cat belong on the cattery. Um... Yeah, I think the hiding away will go down. No, the party players. Look at him. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so those two have gone down. And let's see. I do need one more herbivore. So it's going to have to be the hiding away. There we go. So we are going to build this up into a T3 planet and then turn it into a wildlife reserve, just like our cattery. And the reason we're going to be doing that is because this whole system right here, this whole solar system, is going to turn into uh, our little area where we come and collect our best aliens that we have found. And like I said, pretty soon, probably in the next week or so, we're going to start coming over and spending time actually playing out the lives. Oh, look at him go! Little pirate ship zipping on by. Oh, that's so cool. I love watching them just fly by. That's so neat. But we are going to be spending time playing in creature stage as different creatures. And I might even put it up to a vote, like a little straw poll vote. Uh, and it could be like dinosaurs or we could spend like a couple days in the life of a space cat. It should be a lot of fun. What do we have over here? A lot of the different foods. We could spend life a day in the life of a Biff stack, one of the like cow looking like creatures that we eat with barbecue sauce. That would be pretty awesome. But we'll be doing that in the future. I'm going to make a strawberry cat. Uh, let's make a strawberry cat right now because I said I was going to do it today. So let's go over to the space cattery and we're going to make a new herbivore and it's going to be a strawberry cat. So here's the space cattery. It's already been turned into... If I remember correctly, did we not turn it into one yet? <gasps> we still need more herbivores! All right, so we haven't done that yet. All right, let's find a space cat, and we're going to turn it into... Do, 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 creature tweaker. There we go. Ah, the deer one's perfect to start with. 
And we're gonna turn it into a strawberry space cat. Yay! All right, let's take these feet off. And let's see what we can create. go I'm pretty happy with it just nice and simple it's kind of just like a modified deer cat uh, and I do want it to be maybe a little teensy bit more spotted if there's some way like ah it's just so cute and I just love the idea of a strawberry space cat but I'm not really sure like the dots are so perfect Okay, wrong kind of dots. The dots are so perfect when it comes to uh, like the deer cat but strawberries are also pretty spotted aren't they can I like uh, can I like, uh, I just want to like clone that. Okay, which one is that again? Is that this one? Is that this one? I think it's like the curl down, the knurl down. No, is it the, just this guy? And then shrunken down really, really, really small. Is that what I did? Yeah, there we go. Or something like that. And then smish down. No, that's not what I did. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where those went. That's the other problem is like remembering where you dig everything out of. But I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't have to be complicated. And if you guys have a better strawberry space cat, I would very happily look at that. The big key is going to be in what colors we make it. So let's go over to the parts. And then we need the detail parts to maybe be like black. Can we do that? Hmm, almost, almost. Well, the base is actually going to need to be like strawberry, isn't it? Like this? And then, ah, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. Okay, I'm really happy with this. Actually, I, I'm much happier with this than I thought I would be. Is that the same co co color? Oh my goodness, I actually love it. I love it. It's our strawberry space cat. There you go, you guys. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll add in our little strawberry space cat onto the ground here and there. Dun dun dun! And he's going to run and roam and be free and absolutely adorable. And if you guys have more ideas, we've had things like leopards and cheetahs and things like that suggested for our space cattery, please let me know because we do need to continue adding in one more herbivore and one more carnivore or omnivore. And then we can put down, then we'll be at T3 and we can put down the um, wildlife reserve. So then we can add in the wildlife sanctuary and make 30 cats, 30 space cats that we can then spread out into the universe. So I would absolutely love that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.